The mice industry, short for meetings, incentives, convention, and exhibition, is known as a high-value industry. Now, the Korean government has been supporting this sector, and starting today, an expo inviting buyers and sellers from all around the world kicked off in Ilsan. Shin Semin reports. For the second year running in 2013, Seoul was named the best international business meetings destination by the U.S. edition of Business Traveler magazine. However, that success has not spilled over to the rest of the nation. According to a recent report by the Hyundai Research Institute, Korea's overall competitiveness in the meetings, incentives, conventions and exhibition, or MICE industry, is quite low, ranking 18th out of 21 nations surveyed. It found that Korea as a whole was lacking in terms of transportation, accommodations and marketing. To pump some new life into the sector, Korea opened the MICE Expo 2014 on Thursday with more than 350 domestic and foreign businesses participating. The event hosted by the Korea Tourism Organization and the Culture Ministry provides the environment for business deals. Although we haven't seen a huge jump in sales yet, we are receiving more requests to hold events at our hotel. It's a big reason we continue to promote ourselves here at the Expo and meet other potential business partners. The MICE Expo, which runs through Friday in Ilsan, also aims to attract more tourists to Korea through other means, like promoting the popular Buddhist Temple State program. Medical tourism is also a big draw. In fact, a big portion of Korea's mice industry belongs to medical tourism, which has been growing at an average rate of more than 37 percent annually in recent years. And I'm interested to find new partners, the DMC companies, uh, the hotels, the venues and uh, medicine companies also, because sometimes we have requests from Russian people to make a medicine inspection. That's why I'm trying to find something new. The government has plans to host more events and conventions on Korean soil in the years to come. And by doing so, it hopes to add jobs and provide a much-needed boost to the domestic economy. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.